could hear my father's voice He would tell me to move on He would say I'll be just fine Yeah, he would tell me we have time Time to laugh and time to heal A favorite song is on Hey fams, welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be sharing with you guys how I turned my hallway coat closet in my foyer into my office space. So this is phase one of this office space. I am going to be just taking the doors off and kind of just, you know, getting things cleaned up and then moving my desk in. I know it seems a little backwards, but I wanted to do this first because I wanted to see if my desk would be able to fit. So I hope that you guys will watch the video from beginning to end and just stick with me all throughout. If this is your first time here, hello, welcome. My name is Shoshana. On my channel, I do lots of home decor and lifestyle videos and also some cleaning motivation. So if that's what you are interested in watching, I do upload weekly and I would love for you to go ahead and subscribe and definitely hit that bell so that you don't miss any of my notifications okay guys without further ado let's go ahead and get on into this video drinking wine until the dawn knowing soon we'll be back home i was having such a hard time with this door i don't know what was going on with the screw but it just did not want to get out of this door and i was just like I was getting so frustrated, so I had to call my son to come downstairs and help me out, which he did, and I'm so glad that he did because I literally was about to break this door and throw it through the window, <laughs> but um, I'm just kidding, guys, but it was very frustrating. So here I am now trying to fit my desk in, and I don't know why I just didn't turn it on the side and then put it in that way. Looking back in hindsight as I'm, you know, watching this video, I could have just turned it on its side and, you know, let it stand up and brought it in. But I took the hard way out and it literally took me about 20 minutes with this little Allen wrench <laughs> to figure out this whole thing. And then it wasn't even the screw for the Allen wrench. It was an actual screw <laughs> that needed a screwdriver. <laughs> So y'all, this was a struggle. It was a little task. It took me a little time to get this desk down and back up together. And then I'll use to you in the next few clips or whatever. But literally, we got the desk in and the drawers could not open. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my gosh, it just, it was a hot mess dot com. But we got it done and the office is looking really good. So I can't wait for you guys to see what it looks like. Okay, guys, so this is what the space is looking like right now. I definitely have to get... Um, some things together because i'm kind of going for like a vintage moody feel in here and i'm going to be putting some wallpaper in here so i want to get like a like a floral moody vintage piece sort of like the piece that's in the wallpaper that's in the dining room something similar to that i'm going to put here i actually tam tam um tamara from love my babies forever she actually has like a wallpaper that um it's like a black and white wallpaper and it's more of modern and i thought that i could use that here but it's not going to go in it's not going to go with the aesthetic of my home because my house is not like really modern so much and i'm kind of going for like a vintage moody feel in here so i'm going to order some wallpaper and definitely um put it on this back wall because this is like the focal wall for when you come into the entryway but so far this is what it looks like and y'all i am just loving it just loving it now the only thing is once i got my desk in here after all the 
oh, craziness we done gone through just to get it in here. Y'all, I can't open my drawers. <laughs> I cannot open any of my drawers. So my son and I had to go and, you know, get everything out from underneath it. But that's okay because I am definitely going to be putting some storage baskets in here and, you know, some storage on the side of the walls and everything just so that I can put all the things in there that I need for my office space. But for the most part, you guys, I am loving it. Let me see if I can stand from the door and you guys can see it. It's just beautiful. I love that I took the door off. I can't wait. I'm going to, in the next episode, I'm going to paint, I'm going to wallpaper, and then I'm going to decorate and put it all together. But I just wanted to show you guys how you can achieve this look um, with just a small closet. It doesn't take a lot. It doesn't have to be expensive. Um, this costs me nothing yet. All I'm gonna do is get the wallpaper and the paint, which I'll probably spend less than $50 for both of them. So. I am so excited, so excited, and the acoustics in there is amazing, so I can't wait to like film um, and edit a video and do a voiceover just so I can see how it sounds, but even for the holidays, you guys, I'm going to be having like all of my, um, my garland coming down this way, I'm going to have like little Christmas trees in there, oh, I cannot wait, I am super duper excited, so hope you guys enjoy this little uh, makeover video. Like I said, I'm not done yet. This is phase one and phase two will definitely be coming. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that little video. Thank you guys so much for watching and for stopping by today. Hope that it helped to inspire you and motivate you to take a space in your home that you're not using or that can be used for something more functional. Um, and just go for it. Go for it. You can do it. You can do it. You totally, you totally got this. So thank you so much for joining me today and for watching my video. Remember that Jesus is Lord, that he loves you, and I love you too. I will see you next time in phase two of my office makeover. Bye, guys. Bye.